On your daily commute, you could be riding on a bus, or standing on a subway platform, or trying to pass on a two-lane road. But what do all these things have in common? The answer, yellow lines. When I first saw the yellow line, I was like, what? That's jarring. The world is full of yellow lines, and the government doesn't want you to cross them. I was like seven, and like I saw the line next to the rail at the train station, and you know, my mom was all like, don't cross that line. But then I was like, why? I think we need to ask questions as a society. We need to ask, why? What would happen if you stepped across the yellow line? Why are we always told not to? Maybe they are just trying to protect us from something, or maybe they have something to hide. I never gave it much thought, but now it's creeping me out. Like, now I see it on the apple cart and there's double yellow lines on the road. Like, what's that supposed to mean? The government and apple cart clearly don't want us to know the truth, whatever may lie in the great beyond. The debate is on, but the answers are few, and everywhere you see there is yellow, so much yellow. Once you notice it, you can never stop. On your average day, you will see the yellow line in over 3,000 places. They are all separate, yet all connected, and we still do not know why. My theory is that the line separates us from another plane of existence, where you can go to any point in space or time. But if you're not careful, you could do something bad, like alter the past, and mess everything up. To me, the last guy's theory was absolute trash. I can't stand time travel rules. <laughs> Look, if you were to change something in the past, then it would have already happened and you wouldn't even notice a difference. The laws of the yellow line <laughs> wouldn't be that simple. You could knowingly go against the course of history. And then what would happen? Crossing the line would be like crossing to another dimension. And you never cross streams. Another dimension, really? Up and down, left and right, forward and backward, in space and time, the elevator dimension. Those are dimensions, okay? Sure, if you want to invent parallel timelines for no reason, then I guess you could imagine a fifth dimension running perpendicular to them, but then you'd already be in it, so you don't travel to another dimension. I think it is like another dimension. I mean, my boyfriend crossed the line once and I never saw him again. He's obviously completely disconnected from our world or he would have called me. No, no, just, no. You're not, no, you're not getting it. I had a dream one night that my son came up and woke me up and said he had a nightmare about the yellow line in his room. So I went to go check it out, see if the yellow line was in there. Then I realized I don't even have a son. No, 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 no. Listen, everything supernatural is connected by apple cart. Our beliefs, or fears, or secrets, in the economy. The yellow line rides between what's right wrong, between fruits and vegetables, between what's wholesome and what is racist. When you step off an apple cart, you might notice some things are different, okay? Don't be alarmed. Nothing you see is real. Think, what color is the default emoji, man? It's not anyone's skin tone. That would be racist. Guess what? It's yellow. A mustardy yellow, just like the yellow line. We may never know what really happens when you cross the yellow line, not if nobody has the courage to actually do it. I'm gonna step over that line someday. I'll do it. I know I might never come back, but I have to try. I mean, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Until then, the line remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of our time. Perhaps there is everything to be found, or perhaps there is nothing.